Alola! And welcome back to Pokemon Moon. I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. Oh man, it feels good to see you again. So we're gonna go over to here where Lily is, and I'm hoping that this is the apparel shop. Yes, look, that's a t-shirt on the sign. We're gonna get some new threads. I quite like that green dress. I think I could pull it off because I've got hips and they don't lie. Uh, uh, anyway, oh, Martin, tell me, do you pick out all your own clothes? And uh, no, I'm only like 10, my mum does it. My mum picks them out for me. Oh, your mother must have a great sense of style then. I love the way that you dress. I, I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear. I don't really know what kind of thing would suit me. Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, Martin. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said I was the 99,999th customer to visit the store. But I already have the same one, so I thought maybe you might want it. What is it? Could be anything. You obtained the lens case. What does that do? It looks like we have something in common now, don't we, Martin? <laughs> All right, bye. I don't know. What, what's, I'm guessing the lens case holds lenses, but I'm not entirely sure. Let me check its description in the bag. Where is it? Uh, Z-Ring XP Share Lens Case. A rather chic looking case for carrying contact lenses. That is literally all it is, right? So is that just a way of saying when we go inside of here and we change our eye color, it's not completely weird and strange? Probably. Hey, up, dude. Alola. Uh, if you're not sure how to pull an outfit together, you're always safe with picking things from the same color family and putting them together, all right? The lineup of clothes sold at the apparel shops, like this uh, like this one, is different on each island. Ooh, you can get a little bit tropical with it. I want to pick out an outfit that will match my Pokemon here. And then what about you? If you want to change your contacts or your outfit or anything, you can use the fitting room. It's the little room with that nice big mirror. Uh, well, I think we need to buy some new threads first. Let's go for it. Right, what are we going to buy? Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Tank top Y. I'm not really a tank toppy person. More of a t-shirt. Oh, here we go. Plain, plain tees. Hey there, Delilah. Black. Plain green. It's, oh, oh, I've changed category. Plain green tee is nice. Plain tee. Polo shirt. What's that one? Oh, actually, the polo shirt looks quite nice. Oh, no. It makes me look a bit like a dad, though. What about surfing tank? No. Again, I'm not really into tank tops. Casual striped tee. Oh, yes. There we go. Got it. That's the one. That looks near identical to the one that Nina did for me. That's incredible. Um, let's go for some trousers. I tell you what, if I get to match my Minecraft character... There you go. Capri pants. Blue. Perfect. Oh, this is so on brand. Uh, socks. I'm going to go for just some white socks. There you go. It's a shame I can't pick odd socks. That's a shame. Uh, let's have a look. A trilby hat. Oh, no. No, I'm good. I don't want a trilby hat. And that's it. There's not really that much you could buy right now. Would you like to put on your latest purchases? Yes, I would. Very much so. Oh, look at me. I'm all kitted out. Oh, I feel like me again. Except for the hat. I know I'm not really crazy about the hat. Wish I could get like a green hat instead rather than the trilby one. Hello, you. Oh, welcome to the scarf. Uh, uh, no, no. I mean the Apollo shop. And here, I have this scarf. A silk scarf. Oh, you know I'm going to have to go back inside now and check it out, aren't I? A Pokemon with Silk Scarf will find its normal type moves have more oomph than usual. Oh, sorry. It's not for me to wear. <laughs> Awkward. Look, a salon and an apparel shop. I'm gonna Oh, a salon. Yes. I can get my hair did. Right. Alola. Hello, you. Right, I want to get my hair done. We can set up whatever kind of hairstyle or colouring you would like here at the shop. Smooth, shaggy, short. We can do loads of different styles. We'll also colour your hair however you like it. What do you think? As long as you're here, you might as well update your look before you go. She knows me too well. All right, what would I like to do today? I would like a uh, cut and color. Five grand, wow, okay. I mean, I guess I'm in. Got a free chair over here, let's see what she can do. Right, I know you're probably not interested, but I'm following this weird program right now. You have to totally give up gossiping about your friends or even celebrities. There's no excuse or anything, but seriously? I can barely find anything fun to have a conversation about now. It's terrible. Anyway, let's find out what kind of look you're going for. Um, I want to go for a... Oh, I don't know. What's a Caesar cut? I mean, let's try Modern Quiff. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, wait, is that the same thing? 
Can I not preview the haircut before I... Oh, come on, dude. I know it, like, doesn't make sense to be able to see the hair before you cut it in case you go for a long one, but... I thought you would be able to see the hair before you got it. Oh, different kinds of blonde. Platinum blonde, yes. Okay, I mean, I still can't preview any of it, so the colour might be awful, but let's see. It's weird that you can't see the hair, but you could see the clothes beforehand. Oh, whoa, dude. Yes. Oh, yes. That's pretty fantastic. I agree. Let's get a brand new trainer picture. Oh, I'm still wearing a hat, though. Hold on, wait, wait. If I go back into the apparel shop, can I take the hat off, maybe? Or do I always have to be wearing a hat? Is that some kind of, like, canon thing? Let's have a little look. Right, fitting room. Uh, change. Oh, I can change contacts as well. Uh, blue eyes. There you go. I think I already had blue ones in, but I'm not sure. Ah, no, yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's a cute little jingle as well. Let's go back in. And then I also want to change my clothes. So I'm guessing this is going to have the same layout. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, as everything else. Cool. Right. Um, eyes, hat. <gasps> yes, I can take it off. Oh, I look so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And would you like to select some different clothing? Yes, change this outfit. Oh, man. Apparently, the customization on clothing in this game is going to be really elaborate. Like, they said there's going to be a lot of apparel in this game. I mean, in X and Y, there was quite a lot. But they said they've upped it for this game. Oh, man, I feel like myself again. I'm so happy. Anyway, let's carry on with our journey. Look at him. He looks so good. I probably should update that trainer profile. Where was it? Trainer passport. Here we go. So, yeah. Cause, oh, no, he's already updated for me. All right, fair play. I think she did mention that, but... I just didn't really pay much attention to that message specifically. Uh, hello, you. The Battle Buffet. It's the crown jewel of the shopping mall. Can I go in? Nope, I can't. Oh, it's Silk Lady again. The more you walk with your Pokemon, the friendlier they grow toward you. All right, whatever you say. What about this dude? Hello, friend. Well, man, like, a journey's made by those who travel with you, you know? And compassion makes the world go around. And, like, space and gravity and things as well. Let me share this with you, young trial goer. Thanks, man. Oh, a heal ball. So that's the one where if you catch a Pokemon, it heals it up, doesn't it? Yeah, back to maximum level. That's awesome. Do we need a heal up right now? Yes, we do. Everyone's a little bit low. Let's just quickly jump into the Poke Center. I don't know how they make the Poke Center cooler every time, but they always manage it. Uh, let's have a little chat with everybody as well whilst we're in here. Do you want a tip? If you, you can use a move that's the same type as your Pokemon, do extra damage. Yeah, I already knew that one. This is awesome. We can trade Pokemon using Quick Link. What are you saying, dude? Do you know about Totem Pokemon? That's not surprising. Do your trial and you'll find out what a Totem is. It's basically a stronger Pokemon at the end of the trial that you have to defeat. Uh, I bet you wouldn't mind fulfilling the wishes of an alluring lady like myself now, would you? Ma'am, I'm ten. You shouldn't be speaking to me in that way. Well, you can see my allure, of course. Anyone with eyes can. But a woman can't depend on such mature beauty alone. She must also have a cute side. Kawaii! A hint of charming sweetness. All right. So what do you want? I've heard there's a rather adorable Pokemon called Drifloon in the Haoli Cemetery. Do you think you can catch one for me and register it in the Pokedex? I sure can. That's like the little purpley one, isn't it? That's like a, I guess like a balloon. Um, let me have a little chat with this guy. If you give your Pokemon medicine and the Pokemon refresh, you can cure poison. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? I got, oh, for a second there, it looked like he had a really big forearm. Huh? I'm actually Popeye. Now, who was I again? Oh yeah, Popeye, that's the one. Oh no, actually, I'm, I'm the move deleter. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Uh, I don't want them to forget anything. But at least I know where you are now, dude, thank you. Right, welcome to the Pokemon. How might I help? Let's have a little look inside. 12, 9, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 1. We've got all those items. But this dude will probably be selling something else. Let's see what he's got. He has got... Oh, okay. Oh, I kind of don't want one of every item. I never use these. Are they, they must be decent, right? I just never use them myself. Let me know in the comment section if I should be utilizing um, the things like X Speed and X Special Defense and all that sort of stuff. I, I don't think I ever have. I saw those team school numbskulls loitering around the marina again. I reported it to the captain, of course. <sighs> this is what happens when young people have nothing to do, too much time on their hands. What a bunch of useless thugs. All they do is drag trainers into battles they don't want and try to steal people's Pokemon. Yeah, 
I heard they tried to sneak into the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell, and that they fail every single time. Uh, sure. Did I hear someone say Team Skull in the marina? I think you did, friend. Oh, hello, Kahuna. How's it going? Martin, you stand back. Old Kahuna Hala will take care of this ornery Taurus. Or ornery Taurus, sorry. What does ornery mean? I'm going to have to Google it. Google definition ornery. Bad tempered or difficult to deal with. Why don't you take a stroll through Hawoli? All right. Well, I guess we're going to the marina then. Where's. Oh, there's an icon down there. Right. So we are going to the Malasada place. Oh. Uh -huh. What's this building though? <laughs> so easily distracted, this one. Oh, whoa. Look at that, Machamp. Hey, friend. Machamp here is a great helper. Sometimes Pokemon are good at things that people aren't. And the opposite is true too. Uh, what's your deal? What are you up to? Any friend of my son's is welcome here. Stay as long as you'd like. All right, cheers, dude. Uh, what about you in the kitchen? What are you saying? Would you care for a little treat from a far-off region, dear? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we already got one of those. Lumio Chalets. It's a kind of pastry from the region where Alima went to study abroad. Oh, as in Captain Alima. Seeing him is looking at myself back on stage and in the spotlight again. Oh, no. She oh, wait, a Drifloom. I need one of you. Hello, can I trade with you or something? The young master is called the Prince of the Trainer School among some. They may think he looks princely, but if you knew the true Alima, you'd probably call him a fanatic more than anything. He's wild for battle. Oh, I wanted that Drifloom. I've literally seen it, but I can't can't do anything. I could always be cheeky and scan the QR code off the Pokemon subreddit, but that wouldn't be the best thing to do. Wow, look at this room. This is literally like the room that I want in my house. Like, literally down to a T. Like, this looks incredible. I love this. I think the only thing it's missing is maybe some small stools or a beanbag for that table. Whoa, he's got loads of manga. Oh, you can't interact with any of this stuff. Are there any items around the... Oh, you can't walk that way around the pool. That's weird. Oh, there is an item there. I thought there might be. Usually when you have to go out your way to wander around certain things, there ends up being, uh, like, rewards there for you. Little thank yous for exploring the map. Checking out everything that the developers actually put time into. All right, let's head over here then. Uh, actually, what's this building? Howoli City Hall. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Got some medicine, just for anybody that needs to know. I was just sort of running around in here quickly and just seeing if there was anything worth grabbing in, in the City Hall. Oh, it's the move deleter guy again. <laughs> Those are all the things the city handles too. Uh, what about you two? Our family's growing and we have lots of Pokemon too. So we're a lively home. Oh, you're getting married. You came here to get your marriage license. Congratulations, guys. I'm busy thinking of what kind of city we should make our Haoli into. It's got to be convenient for the people living here and for the Pokemon living here too. Sure thing. Getting documents from City Hall is such a convoluted process that it feels rather like playing some kind of elaborate game. Yup, that's usually the way it goes. All right, let's finally get to this, uh, this quest marker, whatever it is. Oh, this is the Malasada place, right? Yeah, it is. Hello, you. How's it, Martin? If you're looking for good eats, dude, we found them. Plus, Malasadas make your Pokemon like you. An affectionate Pokemon are better in battles. Who could resist giving their Pokemon a Malasada, huh? They're just so cute. Now that I've got some fuel in me, I want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu. That was it. The word was Tutu. It means grandpa or grandparent, even can be for either of them. Um, watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old gramps someday. God, he's so like Gary. Team Skulls or Malasadas? How can we choose? I want to check both. And we will, my friend, we will. My Pokemon just tried a, a what? Just fried Malasada. Ooh. Whenever I hang out with other ladies from the office, they always humble brag about their families while pretending to be complaining. I'd much rather hang out here by myself and see if I could set a new record for the most Malasadas eaten in a single sitting. That is my kind of woman. I love her. Uh, did you know the name Malasada comes from a phrase meaning poorly cooked? Oh, interesting. I don't think there's anything poor about them at all. How weird. Anyway, let's try one of these out. It's the miraculous munchie born in Alola. Welcome to your neighborhood Malasada shop. What kind of Malasada would you like today? Uh, a sweet one, I guess. That's all we can pick from. So who is going to eat it? Am I going to eat it? Oh no, Pokemon's going to eat it. Let's give it to... Mabra. Just because it's new. It's a welcome gift to the party. Why don't you find yourself a seat? I'll bring you a Malasada fresh from the fryer. Alright, here we go. 
We spent this episode just getting dressed, getting a haircut, and stuffing our face. Very productive day, everybody. Very productive. Abra's affection went up a lot. All right, let's have a quick look at how much it actually went up by. Pokemon refresh. So if I switch out to the other Pokemon, not Grubbin. I, I like you too, Grubbin, but you don't get Malasadas today. Not this time. Come on. Here we go, switch. Let's have a little look. Uh, Abra. Whoa, Abra's at full fullness. And he's got one affection. It's pretty good. It's in the, yeah, I'm fairly certain that in the last game, uh, or the last games even, to get Sylveon you had to make sure its affection and everything was high um, when it was ready to evolve, wasn't it? And then it then evolves into a Sylveon, who, by the way, was my total MVP in X and Y. Like, it was literally the strongest one that I took to the, um, to the, to the end of the game. Like, it really was. Um, I don't know what we're going on here, but at least we've compacted the soil with a good bulldoze. Got to start with a firm base. Sure. Whatever you say. Oh, police station. Huh. Here's some advice, trainer. If you're going to stand up to tough opponents, then be willing to use items on your Pokemon. You can help them grow stronger. Nah, it looks basically the same as a dude at the desk. There's the Gramble. Oh, I remembered, by the way, the Pokemon was called Snubble. I'm not seeing the comments uh, of people telling me that. I just genuinely remembered it. Oh, hold on a minute. There's another item there. That's a yellow Pokeball. Does that mean it's something way better? Oh, I'm excited now. <laughs> I'm going to find out. Uh, which way do we want to go? As little grass as possible. And we got caught by something. This would be cool if it's a new Pokemon, though. This might be a blessing in disguise. Nope, it's a Wingle. Damn it. Right, down into the Haoli City Marina. Hello, friend. you got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? Oh, thank you. I bet old ladies like to give you candy. That's a bit weird. <laughs> sure thing. I have had a lot of people telling me recently as well, by the way. And it's kind of, it feels a little bit like a backhander compliment. But whenever I'm with friends at the moment, um, they always say that I look a lot younger in pictures. Like when I take a selfie and stuff, they'll look at the group selfie and they'll go, Martin, how do you look so young in that? So basically what they're telling me is I look really old and I look really ugly and non-youthful in person. Yet somehow on camera, I look miraculous. So you know who you are if you've said that. I don't even know if you watch my videos, friends, but... If you do, then just know that it hurts. Just ever so slightly. <laughs> anyway, uh, seeing the vending machine makes me think. Do you think a Rotom ever tried to go in there? I uh, Maybe. Good of you to stop by. Have a look at my wares. But just a look. They aren't for sale. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can you see it? He's got a little uh, alone executor plush. That's awesome. All right. So I'm guessing that's where you can catch a boat from. Or a ride. What if it's like the uh, the shark? By the way, if you have not watched it, watch the first episode of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime. It's up on YouTube on a YouTube channel called Satoshi. S-A-T-O-S-H-I. Because I think that's the name of Ash in Japanese. Um, but yeah, episode one of Sun and Moon. I love it. I think it's great. I wasn't sure from the trailer, but I've watched it and it is so animated and so exciting. I thought it was great. Um, did I speak to these two? Defense is everything in battle. If you use an X defense. Ah, thanks, friend. That's awesome of you. Really appreciate it. An X defense will sharply raise your Pokemon's defense stat, letting you take most any attack without breaking a sweat. And then what are you saying? You're talking about attack. Oh, wait, are you going to give me an attack one? Oh, dude, yay! X attack and X defense. Thank you, guys. Very much appreciated. Right, let's have a little chimag with this guy, with his Corsola. The ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great ferry system, you can get to the next island in no time. Um, and then I think that's us all done. Is there anything down here? Oh, that's an odd-looking pipe. Just thought I'd try and interact with it. Oh, it's not a pipe, it's a... to tie your boat to. Ignore me. Uh, <laughs> just try and interact with it in case... No, nope, there's one there. In case there was an, an item knocking around. Anything in that cone? Nope, nothing inside of there. Right, let's have a little chat with... Um, with this dude right here. Hello, friend. It's a Lima. Yeah, it's the captain. Hello. Yo, yo, yo. Check it out now. Aw. Oh, no, it is. It's Team Skull. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. Aw. Aw. Ah, ah. Yeah, Team Skull now. Aw, ah. Don't mess with us, because we can flex all day long. Ah, oh, we're Team Skull, and your name's Alima. My Pokemon's going to hit you in the theme, and you're a dreamer. If you're going to be me in this Pokemon battle in Howolo City. How only? I got the name wrong, damn it. Anyway, so, Cap, just give up the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you from the trainer school? <laughs> it's 
sorry. The rap made me laugh and the fact the music just dropped and we're just ignoring them is even better. Already made your way to Haoli, hmm? What? What? You trying to act hard when we're already hard as bone out there, homie? Oh, God. Yo, let's check these fools. <laughs> oh, my. How terrifying. Only thieves steal po people's Pokemon. And I won't stand for it. Martin, was it? I'll actually need to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. Yeah? Mmm, let's see what you got, kid. Oh, a battle against those Team Skull numbskulls in the marina. Count me in. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Before we do, though, I would quite like to have my Meowth hold a different item. So we're going to give him a new item instead of Quick Claw. I want to give him that one that uh, raises normal attacks, the Silk Scarf. There you go. Give it to a Pokemon. Sweet. All right, let's do this thing. Yo, check out how I can change the game with my mad Pokemon skills, yo. All right, bring it on, Team Skill. I love how slow and, like, grimy the music gets, though, when you actually get into a battle with them. Oh, here it goes. You're about to fight Team Skull Grunt. Send out a... Oh, a Zubat. What was that ball? What was that weird Pokemon candy-looking ball? It was, like, green and yellow. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Uh, what are we going to go for? Oh, Fake Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Fake Out's like, turn one. Make some flinch. Oh, baby. Uh, what? Maybe it doesn't always work. That's annoying. And it's just gotten and replenished all the health I just took off of it. Uh, let's have a little look. You think a Dark Attack could be good against it? 60 power. It's going to be my strongest one regardless. There we go. Nice. We're having some Zubat wings. Do you reckon that's a delicacy in the Pokemon world? Like, they eat slow poke tails. I reckon that they'll probably have uh, Zubat wings as well. Although they don't really look like they've got much meat on them. They're just kind of skin flaps. Flaps. <laughs> Fats, flaps, whatever. Bye-bye, Zubat. You're out of here. What? I didn't level as Meowth. That's so close. We got Rowlet and Magnemite leveling up, though. So that's all good. For real? Oh, already over? 256 bucks. Man, this blows. No fair. I was playing a different game. Come on, man. Let's get out of this port, B. No one has to know about this. We don't know about your whack Pokemon anyway, Alima. Bye, guys. <laughs> Those chumps. How terrifying. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I hear your team to express my gratitude? Sure thing. Thanks, Alima. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer's school. Professor Kukui brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seem to have defeated our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Okay. Oh, I think I might be. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Alima. Yeah, I'm going up against. Oh no. I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't even save beforehand. Wow, look at that rainbow background. Oh, that is special. She's holding an ultra ball as well, so she's already miles ahead of me. All right, here we go then. Young Goose, we should be okay, I think. Should be all right. So level nine versus level nine. So should I try Scratch? Oh, I should use Fake Out, I'm an idiot. I was just thinking about the, uh, the same type move. Like, using normal type moves would be stronger. Never mind. Let's just use a uh, bite. Let's just see how it goes. They might do more damage. Oh, yeah. That's, like, significantly more damage. Let's just stick to biting on him. And one more bite. Is that going to do the trick? No. Maybe one more bite after that. Oh, whoa. That was a big attack. Hopefully, he doesn't go first. Oh, why would you ever? <laughs> What's wrong with you? That's so not sportsmanlike. Oh, now I'm going to have to use a potion. Now I'm going to look like the loser. All right, hold on a minute. Uh, potion, or maybe a super potion. 20 HP. Oh, no, 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 that'll take me to basically minus one health. So that'll be all right. Up you go. Good lad. All right. That tackle's going to do so much damage again, though. Why is it so strong? It's nuts. Uh, let's go for, I don't know, Grubbin. I feel like Grubbin might be able to withstand these attacks. And we've got the Quick Claw as well. Let's see how much damage it does on one hit. Here we go. 29 health down to... 
that took, what, like 13 off? So we can take one more hit. So let's give it a try. Uh, fight. What are we going to go for? Vice Grip is 55. Bite is 60. But, oh no, but we're a bug type, so it doesn't even matter. Let's just go for the stronger attack then of the two. Yes, Quick Claw getting in there first. Mm, no, we're done for. This is a really strong young goose. Oh, actually, if I can get in one more tackle, Grubbin will probably die here. But... Oh, actually, maybe it'll just survive. No, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, no, it just survived. All right, switch him out, switch him out. Get gone, get Grimer out there. Grimer is super low level-wise, but I believe in it. There you go. Alolan Grimer. See what he can do. Uh, oh, no, that was one hit. <laughs> All right, never mind. Let's just go for Rowlet then. Rowlet can finish these guys off. I'll use a potion on uh, Meowth in a second as well when I get a chance. So it's using Tackle. Yeah, like even against the level 12, it's taking a third of its health off. That's nuts. Uh, which one is strongest? I guess we're going to use the same type, aren't we? So let's get a grass move out. Leafage. No, I didn't think he was going to go down there. That that bar was trickling down slowly. Super, super slowly. Right, Grimer learned Bite. That's good. I swear, like, half of our party knows Bite. Oh, Abra's level 7. It's going to send out Smeargle. Oh, I don't know what to use against the Smeargle. Doesn't the Smeargle, like, it can use all different types of moves? Like, it can use fire and water and grass and all sorts of stuff. Tell you what, let's just, let's just chill for now. Let's just take it easy and we'll just rock it as a uh, Rowlet and see what we can do here. Um, let's have a little look. Peck is 35. May also make the target flinch. No, okay. We're just going to stick with Leafage for now then. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It can use Ember. Oh, that's not good. Oh, but dude, if we could get one attack in. I'll tell you what. I'm going to switch out to... Oh, who am I going to switch out? Let's, let's switch out to Magnemite. We're going to let Magnemite be, like, just death. So we can heal up a Pokemon. As long as it doesn't get killed by that attack. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. Sorry, Magnemite. I know we're just using you to get wrecked, but we need this right now. Uh, regular potion will probably do the trick. 20 HP. Oh, actually, I could probably use a super potion. 60 HP. Yes, perfect. Right, there we go. So if Magnemite dies, we'll switch out to the Rowlet. And it means that we're not on that thing of sending it out and getting attacked straight away. So this will be good. Uh, Rowlet. Here we go. Switchity switch. Let's see what you got, son. Leafage. Oh, no, no, no. Mine the ember. It's good. At least it didn't use a, uh, a potion again. Oh, yes. Gone. Good job. Smeargle's a Pokemon that I haven't thought about in a long time as well. So a proper throwback, that one. Hey, Avra's level 8 as well. Good stuff. Yes, you've emerged victorious. So there's that. what does that mean? Do we get something cool for that? Oh, <laughs> Meowth, look at you. You look so smug about it all as well. You're like, yes, human. Just, just brush this off for me. It's the winter, you see. It makes me melt. All my new thicker hair comes in so I can stay warm and have a nice pelt. Mm-hmm, yes, look how fabulous and swaggy I look. Some people wear gold chains. Friend, I wear gold coins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Anyway, you, or should I say you and your Pokemon, made quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to the Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial. The Trial of Illima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom next of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. So people do say it as a goodbye. Good. I'm glad I'm not crazy for thinking that. I've been outroing every single episode with it. <laughs> Route 2 is just too exciting to miss today. Let's get going. No, I'm Rotom Dex, we can't. We've got it in the episode there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. As always, be sure to tweet me at In the Little Wood. Tag me on Instagram, In the Little Woods, with any fan art that you do for the series. I'd love to feature as much of it as possible. Have an awesome one, and I'll see you next time. Alola!